there is to say now is that there are several reports that we are receiving even now about certain things that you know uh, raise hairs and because you see this whole thing about the power base the general population the people down there in the grassroots of both political parties whatever agitation there is there impacts on the leadership and pressures can be brought to bear on the leadership for instance at my level as to what needs to be done or what is left undone i'm saying that there are several reports as of now of issues about pink sheets, of issues about ballot papers that are tamperinted, complaints about intimidation, complaints about arrest, and those things are not good for us. Let me say that whatever the national security apparatus or the security agencies will do, the crux of the matter is that it is the electoral commission that has responsibility to run the elections. And they need to take whatever precautions they need to take to ensure that the general population is assured that we are going to have transparent and credible elections. That responsibility is theirs. So that at the end of the day, the onus lies with the EC to give us a free, transparent, and credible election that we'll all be proud of. And whatever issues are coming up now, whatever reports we are receiving, that tend to give the indication that that is not going on, is of concern to us. And I think that, you know, as a country, we should all speak to those. And one would expect that the, the EC would come up quickly to respond to some of these and ensure that the confidence of the population, the mutual trust that we require to you know, conduct these elections is built.